Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Experts Facts. In this video we will explore sensational facts about foreplay. It will help every couples, to establish a healthy relationship with your partners. So please watch complete video, to understand every facts about foreplay before sex. Any act that creates, and enhances sexual desire in a sexual partner, including kissing, touching, embracing, talking, and teasing, may constitute foreplay. Its definition is flexible, and depends on individual sexual preferences, and beliefs. A recent Australian study found that, most women are more aroused by, the idea of foreplay, than sex itself. According to Shape magazine, women want foreplay to last 19 minutes. While men actually devote about 11 minutes to foreplay, they estimate it at 13 minutes. The US has more laws regulating sexual behavior, than all the European countries combined. Sex toys are banned in some states, such as Alabama. Flirting is banned in San Antonio, Texas. Oral sex is banned in Indiana and sleeping naked is illegal in Minnesota. Fundawear is a type of eclectically engineered underwear, with tiny electromagnetic vibrators, that produce a momentary sensation, when someone's partner touches a smartphone key. The wearer feels a light vibration or gentle free zone, depending on whether his or her partner has touched or swiped the screen. There is an ultra-sensitive border, around the lips called the buccal nerve. Often overlooked, this area is extremely sensitive to touch. Clinical sexologists noted this is a particularly erogenous area, for foreplay in both men and women. Foreplay can make sex more comfortable. When a woman becomes aroused, the muscles actually pull the uterus up a bit, which makes more room in the vagina, in a process called vaginal tenting. While the entire area between the jawline and shoulders, is an erogenous zone, the small indention where the neck connects, with the collarbone is particularly sensitive for foreplay. One of the most powerful nerves in the body, is at the top of the inner thigh, where the ilioinguinal nerve lies. Because it is incredibly sensitive, touching it during foreplay, indirectly stimulates the genitals. When a male giraffe wants to mate, he will duck his neck all the way down, and pat the female on her rear. This will induce the female to urinate. When she urinates, the male will then drink a mouthful, to determine if she is ready to mate. Flatworms are hermaphrodites, which means they can both impregnate, and be impregnated. Because the role of the female, requires developing the eggs, and raising the young, which is more work, flatworms fight for the right to be the male. After this type of penis fencing, the winner gets, to choose the gender. To attract a female during mating season, a male porcupine will stand on his hind legs, and spray her with a gush of urine, from several feet away. The 2004 movie Foreplay, is a porn film without sex. Four characters are trapped, in a world of erotic encounters, without intercourse. Physicians note that, touching the side of the torso, from the bottom of the rib cage, to the hips stimulates a powerful nerve, that reflexively causes the pelvic floor muscles, to contract in both men and women, which, in turn, helps increase arousal. A study in the Journal of Sex Research found that, 100% of women and 95% of men polled consider touching, as the number one way, they know their partner wants to have sex. In a survey of 40,000 men, 90% of the respondents said the thing, they found the sexiest was when a woman takes sexual initiative. Almost 75% agreed that a woman is most unattractive, when she wears heavy makeup. Foreplay is not just about bodies. A person can create a more sensual experience, by arranging a home, or an apartment with sensual colors, flowers, candles, and music. During the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church in the treatise De Secretis Mulierum, Women's Secrets, gives a detailed account of foreplay. 
It includes making sure the bowels and bladder are empty and fondling the woman's lower parts in order to raise the female's body heat to the correct temperature. When the wife began to speak as if she were babbling, the husband should know to make his move. Roman baths were the focus of social get-togethers, and catered to almost every activity, including swimming, exercise, philosophy, beauty treatments, and sex. Intercourse was common, but often attending the baths was a type of foreplay, a type of naked leisure centers. Thanks for watching complete video. We will meet again with part 2 of this video. So don't forget to subscribe to getting our new video updates.